Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Jimmy. I'm your host from Working Man's Defense. Come on, let's go have an adventure. All right. Like I said in my last episode, I was going to show you guys how to take a metal coffee can and turn it into a camp stove. So, that's what I'm here to do today. So, the worst has happened. EMP, zombie apocalypse. Ah! <laughs> Whatever has happened, has happened. And now you need to bug out. Your vehicle is useless. You need to get out of Dodge. You're on a very long walk home. You are trying to avoid people. Or you had to bug out from your house. You still need to avoid people. So you're camping out in the woods. How are you going to heat yourself? How are you going to heat your rations? That's what I'm here to show you today. So. My get home bag. Love these guys for coffee. Tastes great. I'll tell you what, if I was bugging out, I'd be taking these guys with me. Which I actually had an idea about. I'm going to explain to you guys. So, obviously, I didn't bring a drill with me because I've already made one of these. So, I'm just going to show you what I did. All right, now this, metal, that's what you want. Tin, aluminum, whatever the case may be, that's going to be what you want to use. Okay, mine, took the plastic off from the sides of it, drilled some holes in it, drilled some extra holes right there, just so that way you can get a flame a little bit easier right down to the bottom of the tinder. Okay, and just provides a little bit of an extra oxygen port. And yes, that's what all those little holes are going to be about, is just going to be feeding the fire. you got to keep that fire fed to be able to keep it going. And with that, you need equal parts heat, fuel, and oxygen. Okay? The triangles of a fire. Okay? If you don't know it, learn it. Because that's what's going to keep you alive. Keep you warm. Keep you fed. Okay. Also, a couple of things I didn't mention on my last episode, and part of that I actually forgot to bring with me today, so that's bad on me. But a couple of things I did bring with me, I wanted to go over with you guys because in bug out bags or get home bags, it may become essential. Okay. Number one, toilet paper. You use it. I use it. Everybody uses it definitely need it and this is actually gonna come in handy for a couple of different reasons number one and yeah I'm keeping check in the woods here just cuz you know what I'm in Florida we do have wild hogs just in case okay one the obvious use two you can actually use this as a way to start a fire or there's actually videos out there where they can show you how to take this and make that into a fire pit or a stove that's going to keep you going for a while okay all right that's one number two let's face it survival food sometimes ain't the best on your digestion okay you can experiment, find the stuff that's going to be working better for you, what's going to be tasting better for you, and what you're going to actually going to want to eat over and over again. Because let's face it, you may end up having to eat it over and over again. Okay? So, and acids. Another thing, on long walks, no matter where you're at, you run the risk of chafing out. Chafing out is just going to make it mean and miserable. And it's going to make that long walk home or that long walk to get to your bug out location or wherever the case may be a lot longer. Okay, so one of the biggest things, the saving graces that has saved my butt many a times as I'm working. Hydrocortisone cream. Okay, wash the affected area, soap and water with a rag or baby wipes, anything like that, anything you got. And apply this stuff which I actually got to get more but that right there is gonna save your butt save mine many times okay and guess what lightweight 
doesn't weigh a thing. It's not going to weigh you down that much. Take a tube or two of that. Okay, other thing that you might want to really, really, really consider putting in your pack, or at least in your medicine cabinet at home, anything like that, Neosporin. Okay? Bug bites, scratches, scrapes, cuts, triple antibiotic point, pain relief, Neosporin. It's going to come in handy more times than you can count. Okay. Now, on with the show. So, down here in Florida, what's something I can use to burn that's going to be everywhere I go? Pine? Yep, good fat wood. Definitely, it's going to be anywhere and everywhere that I go, so that's going to be easy enough to find. Another thing that is going to be easy for you to find down here... Palm leaves, palm fronds. The shafts, once they're dried out, they burn really, really well. They're also nice and sturdy. So, level a little level of self-defense. Maybe like one or two hits, but eh, if you need it, there you go. But they're lightweight. You can break them apart easy. You can cut them with a machete, you can cut them with a hatchet, really easy, it's like next to nothing. Okay? And, as long as you got something, you can break them apart on the surface. Easy as all hell. Now, I've already done something with that, so, we're just going to get on with the show. Oh, and, you can use many different types of ignition, sor ignition sources for your fire. Pardon me on that one. Lighter fluid, um, fire starters, like the ones I got here. I picked up a pack of these at Walmart for like five, six bucks. And you get a ton, absolute ton of these. And Anything you're going to want to look at for a bug out bag, get home bag, whatever the case may be for whatever you're going to run into, you know what? It absolutely doesn't weigh a thing. If you figure that hiking, it's probably going to take you maybe two days to get home. Pack like four of these. It's not going to cost you anything. Not going to cost you any kind of weight. It's perfect. No. The palm frond shafts I brought out here, I'm not going to bother cutting up just because I've already done it. Okay. Got plenty of them. You can tear them up like that, and easy enough, that's going to act as that tinder. That is going to burn really, really well. Now, the Polynesians call the palm tree, or the coconut palm, the tree of life because it just keeps giving and giving and giving and giving it never stops and for something like this i can say pretty much any of the palm leaves any of the palm trees they're doing the exact same thing for you they just keep giving and giving and giving and giving well jimmy what about you know up north up here you know we, we don't have palm trees what are we supposed to do then you go with other trees of life the pine tree literally the needles, the palm, the friggin' uh, pine cones. Pardon me, I'm still stuck on palm trees, apparently. Pine trees, they're wood, it's fat wood. It'll burn real easy. The pine needles are going to burn real easy. They're going to burn hot and they're going to burn fast. So you're going to want to pace out what you're going to use with them. Okay? Other than that, the wood is going to be great for that. The pine needles are going to help make a nice hot fire to keep you warm at night. The pine cones are going to burn hot, but they're going to burn longer. They're going to be that nice tender material that's just going to keep going and going and going, kind of like the Energizer Bunny. Okay? The stuff I'm going to use, it burns, and it burns for a while. It won't burn forever, but it burns kind of quick, relatively speaking. Okay? So, let me angle this down right here.
Okay. Nice center block I found out here, but pretty much if you don't have one of these, you can pretty much use anything, even just boom, right there, place it on the ground. It's not going to do you any harm. And if you find one of these, you want to elevate it, great. Nice flat level surface, hopefully, depending on the ground level. Okay? So, like I told you before, inside one of these, even after you've used it, it's going to have a little bit of ash in there, but guess what? All the rest of your fire starting material, like I've got inside of this one, you can put right in there. Let it cool down, and guess what? You're not going to have a single problem. That's going to be lightweight as hell, and you can pack a hell of a lot in there. Okay? And with that fully packed, it's not wasting a bunch of space. All right, now, fire starter. You're going to find that hole. Place that right down in there. Find the edge of the plastic. We're going to use these. Just kind of pull it out to the side there. And yeah, expect that. Don't be a wuss about it. It's not going to do you any harm. It's just going to make you a little dirty. Okay. That peeled right off from there earlier. Nice, good kindling material. Bend it, break it, put it right on top. Okay. Great, small little kindling material. You can do the same thing with pine. Do all kinds of stuff. Just try and help shred it down a little bit longer, or a little bit more, make it last a little bit longer. Yeah, whatever you do, don't be dumb. Don't try and sit here and hold something like this and go, ha, ah, because guess what? I almost did. Oh, and now you've got a bigger problem. Now you're having to try and figure out how you can patch that up and get yourself to safety, get yourself help. Let's say you're a few miles back in the woods. EMP went off, there's no cell phone service. How are you gonna get help? Be smart, okay? Something like that. Keep it right on the top of it, just kinda work with it. Like a hammer a little bit. Don't try and swing this stuff around like it's an axe, anything like that. Use it like a hammer. Use this stuff like a hammer, you're going to save yourself a lot of time, a lot of aggravation, and a whole lot of pain. Okay? Let's get it down little pieces like that. Break it. I don't know where it's going to have those fibers where I can get into the center of the wood a little faster. And just put it right there on top. If you got a rock or something like this you can do this with, great. Takes so much less time. Okay. Now, try and angle this up a little bit. Okay, 
Now for this part I'm going to tell you, always carry three types of ignition sources. Okay, Bic lighter, long nose lighter, matches, ferro rod, and steel. Whatever it is you want to carry, carry at least three. I try and carry at least three or four. Okay, because guess what? You lose one, hey, I got another. Okay, so for this, I've got two different sources, Bic lighter, matches. Okay. Now, with something like this, it's going to keep the fire contained. It's going to keep it safe, so you're not going to have to worry about setting off a brush fire or setting off a forest fire. Okay. Makes you feel any better? Carry something to put it out with. Always make sure you at least have that way around you. Okay, me, I've got water right next to me. So if I need to, I can take the other coffee can, walk over there, fill it full of water, come back over here, douse it. Okay, but for this one, not going to use the easy source. The big lighter, matches. Yeah, what am I saying? It's all easy anyways. Okay, for the fire starters that I'm using, matches, big lighters, uh, anything like that, it's going to be easier in the ferro rod. Okay, they do make ones that are going to light up real easy, real quick with ferro rods and steel. You're not going to have a problem. Okay, for this one, let's just make it easy. All right. There we go. Glue. No, almost. not having any kind of look with this one this time but normally this does work pretty good just may take you a minute angle it up yeah I can hear the comments already he's like come on Jimmy you said this was easy normally it is but I'm also having to work against the wind here so get the idea with the matches. I'm just going to switch it later. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been here a few friends of mine already. What's wrong, Jimmy? I said, bada bing, bada boom. Come here. Just feed your fire. And that fire is going to go for a while. That's going to be a nice source of heat for a night. That's going to be a nice cooking source. Anything and everything you're going to need, that's going to provide. Everything you're going to need to 
survive heat wise that's going to get you there that's going to keep you going all right so that's pretty much it guys I'll see you next time hey what's going on everybody just before you go away almost forgot the idea i have for you okay you're bugging out you're leaving you've got to get 10 miles away, 20, 30 miles away from where you're at for safety. I don't know about you, my stomach doesn't do too good on instant coffee. I can use it, but it's not going to be the first thing I'm going to go, oh yeah, give me some of that instant coffee first thing in the morning. No. I use that as a last resort. Okay? Don Francisco. Two reasons why I say grab this. One, it's a lot better than instant. Okay? Two, the can. It's ribbed for extra strength. You get the lid, the way it's set up right there, like a normal coffee can, you're gonna have nice level of strength right there. So you can set down a old school style can't percolator to make yourself coffee first thing in the morning and for 20 bucks at Walmart I highly suggest getting one okay the only reason why I didn't feature that today is because well I haven't actually gotten around to getting one but I'll get one soon okay so go to Walmart you can either use Ziploc bags small sandwich bags stuff like that if you like but personally I'd rather get my hands on some of the sealable bags that you see in the canning section for meats and stuff like that. You can take those, portion size out enough coffee for a single pot of coffee first thing in the morning. Portion size that out and boom. It's going to take up a lot less space. It's going to be more streamlined so you're not carrying at least like two of these out there with you carry one with your fire starting material your camp stove and stuff like that and bada bing bada boom you're good and you're done all right so thanks for tuning in today ladies and gentlemen please like and subscribe to the channel hit that notification button so you're going to get the first notice whenever we actually put out a new episode and yes i do have some live fire episodes i just got to finish editing those and i will get them out on the channel real soon here okay also down in the description below, you're going to find our link to my Patreon page. Please give a look. If you like, please subscribe. Our lowest donation is going to be our Loch Ness Monster for a tree fitty a month. Hope you like the reference. Everything, every little thing helps, helps the channel, helps put out new stuff. And please, if you have a link to something, something you want to see me try, something you've been saying, you've been thinking about, buying some survival gear you see enough wish send it to me tag me in it i'll get it and i'll check it out i'll let you know what i think okay i'll even put out an episode and i'll tag you in it i'll even say hey this guy wanted to see me do this so here we go all right ladies and gentlemen like i said please like and subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you next time all right later